Hey guys, Nathan here from RHG, back on another Battleborn video, and I'm doing this again purely because by popular damn, more or less, you guys want to hear what these characters have to offer in the Battleborn game, and I've already done two videos on the characters, they'll be on screen now or in the description if you want to go check out the characters that I've already looked at, but the final three characters from this photo that I'm going to be taking a look at are Calderas, Montana, and Reyna, and uh, yeah guys, so if you like it, don't forget to leave a like button, and comment what you want to see from Battleborn, because I've run out of these characters to talk about, so tell me what you want to see, and I'll produce a video on it. So the first character I'm going to be taking a look at is Montana, and I'm just going to be giving a basic overview of these characters and running through some of the abilities that we're going to be seeing in game. So for the basic overview of Montana, basically Montana is part of the Peacekeeper group and he's always encouraging his teammates. He's basically one big ball of mass as you can see by this, he has a really small head but massive shoulders and he's just a massive beastie guy. And uh, in the game it's said that he moves slowly than, than other people but because he's big and because he's got a lot of skin and he's big and bulky he can take a lot of the damage. Montana's primary weapon in the game is obviously his massive Gatling gun and uh, it's said that it has a very fast fire rate but its biggest downside is that the fact that it overheats if it's fired for too long. Now I'm just going to run through some of Montana's abilities. Uh, he's got four abilities and one of them is ultimate ability. The first ability that I'm going to be talking about is his lumberjack dash and this is where Montana dashes forward in a single straight line injuring enemies that get in his way. The second is hailstorm and hailstorm gives the Gatling gun bullets and slows down enemies they hit. The third is Mow Heat, Mow Damage, and this is a passive ability that gives Montana's minigun uh, a more damage, like a, a damage boost, and once it heats up. And his ultimate ability is called Man's Formation, and this is where Montana selects an enemy and launches himself towards them, dealing massive damage and knocking back the enemies nearby, and also his skin turns metallic, reducing the damage that he takes. So there are all his abilities and his ultimate, and I think it's very easy to notice there by his skills that he's going to be one of those big buff guys that take a load of damage during the game and are, put, are sent there to push back enemies in the field. Next up I'm going to be talking about one of the playable women in the game and this is Reyna and it is said that she is part of the rogues faction and she is closest to what the rogues have as a leader and she is said to be very tactical and a gadget based approach to the game. Reyna's primary weapon is two primary weapons actually, she has a pistol and she has a command glove. The pistol does damage physically to the enemies, she, so it does physical damage to the enemies and the command glove fires a slow projectile that deals damage to the enemy's shields. Now onto Reyna's four abilities, one of them is called Overwatch, this is where Reyna uses her command glove to target an ally and give them an overshield. The second one is Priority Target and this is where Reyna uses her glove to target an enemy so that any damage done by her team will pass by their shield. A third is called Rally the Troops, and every time Reyna lands a shot with a pistol, she gains movement speed bonus, and that's effective to also the teammates that are nearby her. So if you're, ne you're nearby Reyna and she gets the bonus, you will also get the bonus too. Her ultimate ability is called Nick of Time, and this gives her the ability to teleport to any of her teammates, emphasizing her support role in the game. And yeah, that's Reyna. She does look at first glance like a fighting character where she run up and run and gun, but actually she's a bit of a health character and more of a support class in the game. The final character that I'm going to be taking a look at today is Calderus, and a bit of a backstory for Calderus is probably has more of a backstory than the other characters that I've looked at today. Basically, he is a member of the Sustained, which is an elite group of the Generate Empire who are immortal. Um, he gained his rank by winning a tournament in the Generate's Gladiatorial Arena. However, he was then imprisoned by the Sustained and now hates all Generates. So that was just one big confusing paragraph, but basically he's a general and I believe that he hates his own empire basically. Before I get more into this guy, upon research this guy does look awesome. So uh, I know the pictures are pretty bland, but they do actually look pretty cool and he does sound like a really cool guy. His primary weapon is a gun and sword, and Calderas fights with both a gun and sword offering a mix of melee and ranged combat. The gun is a submachine gun and the sword is a chainsaw sword, so that sounds pretty fucking awesome. Moving on to his abilities, he has four like everyone else. One of them is Jetpack Dash, and this is where he uses a jetpack to dash forward, and any enemies that he hits um, cause damage and also will slow down. A second ability is called Blind Grenade, and this is where he throws a grenade that is temporarily blinds enemies, but doesn't do a lot of damage to the enemies. The third skill is called Rendering Wounds, and this is a passive ability that causes enemies Calderas hits with his sword to take extra damage over time. His ultimate ability is called Jetpack, and this is where he flies into the air, targets enemies, and does a massive slam down on them, damaging any enemy in the area. And yeah, that's it for Calderas. He seems like a Montana-based character, but maybe less and has more options and probably a bit faster on his feet than Montana, so it kind of gives you a different element and different style of gameplay in terms of that area. 
and yeah guys that sums up this video and sums up the three characters that I looked at I have looked at six other characters and their videos will be in the description so go ahead and click that and if you want to see more Battleborn don't forget to like the video and just say anything that you want to see in the description below I'll be sure to take on board your comments and do a video in the future guys thanks for watching